What was the biggest lesson you learned this year? Um, biggest lesson uh, should be patient and don't force it or don't force like anything. There are a lot of things where like even when I was, you know, like in terms of like hard workouts or anything like that, like if don't force, there's a lot of things to not force, but don't force it. Like if, if I don't feel good, just shut it down. Don't force it. And some, that's actually something I learned from like Noah and Shawnee, like uh -huh. both of them, like who are probably like two of the front runners in our group. Like they're, you know, they have like all the accolades um, sure. and both of them, they do that very well where they'll listen to their bodies. And if they don't feel good, they'll, they'll, you know, communicate it. Where it's like, um, you know, I don't feel good. And coach will be like, all right, I'll give you this instead. It's not as intense or something like that. Or just shut it down. Like if we're in the middle of workout, yeah. that's something that I had to learn the hard way. Because even like um, earlier, I had like a, a little bit. And I want to say like Feb March, like sometime in March. Um, and that was, and I had did it last the year before that as well. And then after that, I was like, okay, I'm not having any more injuries. Like that's not happening because if I would just, you know, not maybe not, you know, try to push this hard in certain days, then it wouldn't happen. So it's like, if I feel something, I'm gonna say, like I'm not gonna like just be like, oh, I feel pretty good. I can do, I can do the workout. Like no, nah. if it if it doesn't feel good, I, I'm not gonna push it and stuff like that. And I and I learned that from Noah especially, and that's one of the reasons I feel like Noah doesn't really get hurt that often because he's very, he's very vocal. Like if he doesn't feel good, he will say it in a heartbeat. Okay.